consciousness getting expanded. If I could just sort of take you right down here. Please. Um, and that's the second part of the book, Connecting the Body and the Mind. I want to tell you a story of somebody who's become a friend, Megan Fairchild. She's the principal dancer for the New York City Ballet. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she started TM because she was having fainting spells, which, of course, for a ballet dancer is a big liability. That's no bueno, yeah. Very soon after starting TM, the fainting spells went away. She then kept meditating, and what she found was that it enabled her to take risks. She'd been a perfectionist all her life and very wanting to color in between the lines, you know? And now she was willing to consider other possibilities, and one of those was there was an audition for a dancer to play a lead role in a Broadway musical on the town. Mm. And she would never have ventured to do that before. She'd never talked. She'd never um, acted from the stage. She'd never talked from the stage. She'd never uh, sung before. But she went to the audition and she got the job right there in the, in the casting room and did brilliantly. And so she's learned that her whole life has opened up new people, new social network, new possibilities. So I think you see over there a biphasic effect. First, the physiology gets stabilized, and then the supermind grows. Building a better brain. Many instances of people whose memory has improved. Cameron Diaz on the film set in LA, in the intense heat, forgets her lines, goes to her trailer, does her 20 minutes of TM, comes back, nails it, mm -hmm. and many other examples. Being in the zone, I feature a friend of mine, uh, Barry Zito, former all-star pitcher the for the San player, Francisco yes. Giants, fantastic human being and a great player, um, turned around the Giants' fate in the 2012 World Series and held off the Cardinals in the playoffs and, was in a, and helped the team win the World Series mm -hmm. on that year and says that being in the zone was very much a function of the TM that he was doing and has been doing. And so it goes. Internal growth. Hugh Jackman talks about how TM has helped him become an authentic person, the value of authenticity, engagement and detachment. You know, we talk a lot about how important it is to be engaged, how important it is to have friends, be in a relationship, love your work, so on and so forth. But what if a relationship isn't working? What if a job isn't right for you? You know, to, in the words of the old country song, country and western song, you've got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. <laughs> you've got to know how to extricate yourself, graciously, hopefully. And, and even when you break up even a bad relationship, there's a feeling of loss. How do you deal with that? So how do you balance engagement and detachment? And then, of course, the last two chapters are ones which people will go right to are meditate and grow rich and meditate and be happy. Can meditation help you become rich? You'll see the answer is yes. But more important, can it help you be happy? And the answer there, again, happily is yes. So um, these are some of the gifts that come when consciousness expands.